Hi, this is Usha. Welcome to Rathod's IAS classes. Today in this lecture, we are going to discuss current affairs of 5th May 2022. So let's get started with our discussion and let us try to see today's quote. So today's quote is given by our Mahatma Gandhi and this quote it is regarding our environment and ecology. So climate change is seen highly in news, right? So you need to prepare with some quotes regarding this environment and ecology. So that will be important from your essay point of view and even from your mates answers as well. So quote here is, earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need but not every man's greed. So this article is mainly talking about exploitation. So whatever we want, okay, so that will be provided by earth but it will be not providing for every man's greed okay so we need to use earth and as well as uh, we need to use our environment in a sustainable manner so now let us try to see first topic so actually this topic is very important from your gs paper 3 under economy so this article which is mainly talking about the stand of monetary policy of rbi so we know that since 2018 onwards and even whenever this COVID-19 which entered into our lives in 2019, so we had accommodative stand, okay, we don't have constructive monetary policy of RBI. So the first time we are going to see some change in this, in this accommodative policy and there is some changes in the interest rate which mainly announced by RBI. So because of this, this is in news. So title says inevitable increase and one more topic in the page number one which mainly says that RBI surprises with 40 base point rate increase amid inflation alarm. So there is increasing of interest rate. So what is this interest rate? So if you want to know the basics. So RBI is the central bank of India. So RBI which is mainly using this monetary policy to control inflation in the market. So what is this inflation? Inflation is nothing but there is increasing of price of goods and service in the market. So this condition is called as inflation. To control this inflation, we have to focus on physical policy of government and even monetary policy of RBI. So under this monetary policy of RBI, which mainly includes interest rates, for example, repo rate, reverse repo rate, SLR like that. So here, RBI said that they are going to increase this interest rate. For example, let us talk about this repo rate to understand the concept. So if you are talking about this repo rate, here we have, for example, let us take this is our RBI and this is bank. So bank, whenever, uh, whenever it is taking loan from RBI, it need to pay interest rate. Okay. So for example, let us take here 100 rupees, which is mainly borrowed by this bank from RBI. So on this 100 rupees, your bank need to pay interest rate. So that interest rate is called as repo rate. Okay, what is this repo rate? The interest which mainly, uh, which mainly paid by the bank to RBI is called as repo rate. So whenever repo rate is low, means banks will be getting more amount of money from RBI so that it is mainly increase the loans. Okay, such that that will increase the money supply in the market. So, but whenever there is increasing of this repo rate means the banks, they will be getting less amounts of loans from this RBI so that they will be having less amount of money to provide loans such that it decreases the money supply in the market. So, whenever there is decreasing of money supply, then what happened automatically that will lead to decreasing of inflation, right? So, this is an example to understand this monetary policy and what is this interest rate, etc. So, here in this interest rate, we have reverse repo rate, repo rate and as well as SLR okay laf so these are some important examples you have to know about those and if you're talking about this article which mainly says that so now we are facing extreme inflation in the market so recently we studied that wpi and as well as cpi has been increasing and because of inflation in the market it mainly it mainly erodes the consuming power or purchasing power of consumers and even it also leads to economic bordering of uh, derailing of economic momentum that is decreasing of economic growth so whenever there is inflation that mainly affects the purchasing power of people and even that will lead to decreasing of economic growth so apart from that rba rate which mainly setting panel 
on Wednesday. So this panel which mainly announced that off cycle increase in benchmark interest rate. So it mainly focused on increasing of benchmark interest rate. So RBI came up with an announcement that it is mainly going to increase this interest rate. So that mainly about 40 basis points. So now monetary policy which mainly voted to raise policy repo rate by 40 basis point to 4.4 percentage and it will come with an immediate effect. So who is Abe governor now that is Shakti Kanta Das. So he mainly rationalized the letting inflation remain elevated in the current levels for too long risk cut the anchoring of inflation expectations. So in our economy there is rising of inflation. So mainly to control this inflation. So this is a step which is mainly taken by this Shakti Kant Das. Okay, they are mainly focusing on growth and as well as financial stability in the market. So as you all know, if you are focusing on uh, global geopolitics, so because of this Russia-Ukraine crisis, Russia-Ukraine crisis, so Western countries and US allied countries, they started imposing of sanctions on uh, Russia here. So because of this, what happened, the price of commodities, for example, wheat, edible oil, crude oil, coal, and even Indian household perceptions, they had been altered. So in this context, our RBI governor, he mainly says that, so whenever we are having high inflation, this sustained, that is for the long time when we are seeing inflation in the market, that mainly hurts the savings of the people and even investment, competitiveness, output growth, etc. here. So it will also have a negative impact on eroding of uh, purchasing power of these consumers as well. So recently IMF, International Monetary Fund, which mainly came up with a report, okay. So in this report, it mainly said that due to this uh, Russia Ukraine crisis it, it is going to slow down this global economy okay global economical growth and even that will be also leads to uh, leads to inflation and even that will also have some impact on the emerging markets and especially in the developing countries. So here because of this issue which is mainly going on central banks of advanced economies they mainly came up with policy normalization they started increasing of interest rate. Okay, mainly to address this challenge of inflation. So if you're talking about this COVID-19 pandemic, which had not been completely over. So now again, we are seeing some fresh wave of infections that are mainly seen, for example, in China. Okay, so because of all these things, now it is further adding unsustainability in the economy of the countries. So in this context, your monetary authorities, they have to rightly point it to impact that increasing of domestic pump price of petroleum, a petroleum products that will also further lead to inflation. So because of this increasing of petrol price and diesel prices, that is a one of the important things for the transportation of goods and services. For because of this, we are seeing there is going to be further increasing of inflation. So because of this, here government need to take some step, especially to cut the tax uh, fuel taxes, and we need to keep this inflation in hand. Okay. So this is about this topic. And now let us try to see next topic it is regarding in the time of war. So now Russia Ukraine crisis is going on. So in this Russia and Ukraine crisis our Prime Minister he visited European countries for the meet. So because of this this is in news. And now we need to know about what is this India Nordic summit. This is second India Nordic summit. So this will be also will be important from your prelims point of view. So now let us try to see this topic in a very great detail. So this topic is important from international nations which mainly comes under your GS paper too. So now let us try to see this topic in a very great detail. So our Prime Minister, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he is on three nation visit to Europe. Okay. And actually you know that Europe which is mainly facing a security crisis since the cold war onwards. It is facing food crisis. It is going to face some energy crisis. So in this crisis situation, so here our Prime Minister, he visited this three nation visit of Europe. So here, if you see here, Berlin had announced uh, Euro 10 billion Euro for bilateral cooperation. And even we mainly talked about some important issues in this India Nordic summit. So if you're talking about Nordic countries, they include Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Iceland, no sweet fin, den ice, okay, no sweet fin in den of ice. So here in this way, you can remember these five countries. And next one is, here India's neutral position on war has triggered both criticism and as well as engagement from the West. 
so what happened regarding the number of voting against this uh, russia so for example you can talk about united nations security council human rights commission you know union uh, united nations human rights commission so in all these areas wherever india has to vote india abstain from the vote here because we are having good relations with russia and russia is also very very important for india's defense equipment and we are getting lot of technology from this russia okay so because of this neutral position of uh, india it made it trigger criticism and as well as a engagement from the west india has seen as a several high profile pressure for the west with the top officials they are mainly pressing on to cut uh, to cut back on the trade with russia and as well as its traditional strategic partner so as you all know that europe it is also very much important for the trade of india so among these nordic five countries sweden and finland they are now considering to join this nato so because of this it is also one cause of concern in this region so apart from this germany like india also has some deep uh, ties with russia for example it is mainly dependent on the russia for its gas imports so if you are talking about this russian aggression which mainly prompted by the germany to raise its defense spending and to join this western sections regime and has been elected in sending the weapons to kiev and compared to that of other nato members in the EU eastern part of europe so apart from that if you are talking about india germany so india germany they mainly unveiled the counters of next level of their partnership okay and we are also going to talk about uh, related to stability and as well as uh, building of strong ties between this western as well as russia and we are also focusing on different important areas of dimension okay and if you are talking about one important challenge before india it is to build stronger strategic future with europe on another and other side we need to balance this russia as well so this is about this topic and now let us try to see where are this scan uh, scandinavian countries are present no sweet fin no sweet fin uh, okay so no sweet fin in den of ice that is denmark and iceland so these are the countries and these are the locations and now let us try to see second india or nordic summit our prime minister he will participate in the second india nordic summit with the prime minister of denmark iceland uh, finland sweden and as well as norway and this uh, summit will be hosted by this denmark and this mainly focuses on the supposed pandemic economic recovery climate change and innovation and technology renewable energy and involving of global security scenario and this nordic countries they are very much important partners for india regarding maintenance of sustainability research energy digitalization innovation etc okay so this is about some facts regarding this second india nord summit and now let's try to talk about next topic is regarding kerala seeks to contain shigella spread so if you see this image you can see that is shigella bacteria it is a rod shaped bacteria so now let's try to talk about this topic and this is important from your science and technology point of view and you can get a prelims question from this topic so if you see the context mainly says that the health department has decided to conduct a further test in this case of shigella sone bacteria actually this bacteria which has uh, caused food poisoning in the people and these people they had swarma and as well as water from an uh, east an eatery at this chiruvanthur in kerala okay, kasaragod district so in this area there was food poisoning which mainly happened with this shigella so if we are talking about some important facts it mainly says that so deputy medical officer he said that there is nothing to panic here but we need to consider this outbreak of this bacteria with many people they are mainly hospitalized uh, with the symptoms like uh, with the symptoms after consuming of food and as well as water from this eatery okay and they are mainly have some symptoms like vomiting fever and as well as diarrhea so we are talking about some facts regarding this shigella or shigellosis it is an infection and in this infection it is a contagious intestinal irritation so when you are getting this shigellosis our intestine will be inflamed okay and this bacteria is one of the prime pathogen which may be responsible for causing of diarrhea and even that is a one important uh, important bacteria which is responsible for fluctuating between moderate and as well as severe system symptoms and even children are very much uh, very much vulnerable here and once this bacteria which is entering into our body through this ingestion so it will be affecting the epithelial lining of the colon and finally it will leads to inflammation of the cells okay 
so it mainly takes only a small number of shigella bacteria to enter this person's system and they will be getting very much sick and this infection is known to spread people to people okay when bacteria is swallowed accidentally it will be also transmitted from one person to another person as well so this is about this topic and now let us try to see next topic Titus says India's position on world's press freedom index so in yesterday's lecture we studied some introduction and now we are going to see detailed analysis of India's rank in this world's press freedom index 2022 so if you see the context already you know that India is ranking 150 out of 180 countries in this world's press freedom index and this is 2022 data and it this report which is mainly released by reporters without borders so this will be one important prelims fact and if you see last year india's ranking was 142 and now in this year it slips its its pages to 150 and the top performing countries or the first one is norway second one is denmark and third one is sweden so these are scandinavian countries so if you're talking about some facts regarding this report actually this report it has been published every year since 2002 by reporter San Frontiers or we can say reporter without borders actually this it is based on Paris so it is independent NGO non-governmental organization so it mainly comes with consultative status with the United Nations UNESCO and the Council of Europe and international organization of Francophone so here this organization which mainly ranks countries and religions according to the level of freedom which is available to journalists okay so in this way it is one of the indicators of quality of journalism in that so and so country so if you're talking about scoring criteria the score which is given that is 0 to 100 okay 100 it is the best possible score and 0 it is the worst score and it is mainly based on some evaluation criteria so this evaluation which mainly includes political context legal framework economic context socio-cultural context and as well as safety so why india which had a very very bad ranking because the first important reason here is pressure from government so according to index the media in india among nations they are reputed to be more democratic and they are also faces some pressure from increasing of authoritarian and as well as nationalist government so there is some increase in the pressure from the government on this journalist and next one is there is faults in policy framework or policy framework so there is some defamation sedition contempt of court it mainly endangers national security against the journalist as well and next one is india is a, one of the world's most dangerous countries for media persons so according to the report which mainly says india is one of the worst more, world's most dangerous countries for this media persons and journalists they are exposed to all kinds of physical violence during police violence okay and by political activists okay and even some criminal groups or corrupt local officers and this one is regarding Kashmir issue so the situation in this Kashmir remains worrisome and reports are often harassed by the reporters or being harassed by the police and as well as paramilitaries and if you are talking about freedom of press in India whether in our constitution any article talking about it yes of course article 19 of Indian constitution which mainly deals with this protection of certain rights even regarding this freedom of speech and expression so this uh, freedom of press which mainly comes under this freedom of speech and expression which mainly comes under article 19 1 sub class a and the famous supreme court judgment here is Romesh Sapper versus state of Madras and in this case supreme court said that freedom of press it is a foundation of all democratic organizations and this freedom of uh, speech and expression is not absolute so we are having reasonable restrictions under article subclass uh, article 19 subclass 2 so some interest regarding sovereignty and dignity of india security of the state foreign relations and even public order decency morality okay or we can say contempt of court and defamation so these are some ex exceptions which are mainly seen and now let us try to see next topic it is regarding highest sex ratio at birth in Ladakh so it is talking about sex ratio so you need to know about what is the meaning of this sex ratio so first let us try to see the details which are given in this infographic it mainly says that so here top five states which are, which are doing very much good in this 
सिक्स रेशो ये तो फर्स्ट वन इस लद्दाख सेकंड वन इस अरुणाचल प्रदेश तो अर्ड वन इस अंडमान एंड निकोबा एलेंड्स थ्री पुराण केरला सो दिस और टॉप फाइव परफॉर्मिंग स्टेट्स एंड बॉटम स्टेट्स और फर्स्ट वन इस मानीपुर दादरा नगर हवेली एंड दमन इन दू गुजरात हरियाणा एंड मध्य प्रदेश सो यू हैव टू सी योर स्टेट सो इन योर स्टेट वॉट इज द सेक्स रेशो दैट विल बी इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्राम यूर इंटरव्यू पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड दिस आर्टिकल इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्राम योर गवर्नेंस and the data which is given here you can use in uh, case studies and as well social issues so if you see context it mainly says that ladakh recorded highest sex ratio at birth in the country in 2020 and later on it mainly followed by arunachal pradesh next one is andaman and nikoba tripura and kerala okay so this is according to 2020 civil registration system report so if you see details it mainly says that highest sex ratio which is mainly based on registered events that mainly reported in ladakh with 1104 and in arunachal pradesh it is 1111 andaman uh, and uh, sorry 1011 andaman and nikoba 984 tripura 974 kerala 969 so this data which mainly released by rgi registrar general of india and lowest sex ratio which mainly reported in manipur with 880 And next one is Dadra Nagar Haveli and Dhaman and Diyo 8998, Gujarat 909, Haryana 916, Madhya Pradesh 921. So this report said that said that the information from this Maharashtra, Sikki, Uttar Pradesh and Delhi on sex ratio it is not available. Okay, and what is a sex ratio? Sex ratio at the birth which has been calculated after deducting delayed information of more than one year for an year 2020. Okay, so even though this report, which mainly focused on even infants death, about one lakh forty three thousand three hundred seventy nine infant death, they were registered in two thousand twenty, and the rural uh, death or deaths to twenty three point four percentage, but in urban areas death was seventy six point six percentage. So now let's try to talk about some facts regarding this uh, sex ratio. So as you all know that sex composition is nothing but it is a basic demographic characteristics. actually it mainly che- it mainly talks about changes in the sex composition okay because of uh, some underlying socio economic and as well as cultural patterns of society so we can see there will be some change in the sex composition so whenever we are having the sex ratio so it will be providing some uh, some light regarding prevailing of equality between male and as well as female right and even there are some other uh, factors to mainly include regarding demographic characteristics like mortality migration marital status and as well as economic characteristics so if we are talking about sex ratio it is number of females it is number of females per 1000 males in the population so whenever it is more than 1000 means we have more number of girls less than 1000 means we have less number of girls so what are the important reasons we are seeing this difference of sex ratio okay sex ratio in different states for example we have differences in mortality rates and as well as life expectancy for women life expectancy will be more compared to that of men okay that means women or females they will be living uh, long than compared to that of uh, male and if one is sex ratio at birth it is not at all equal because in all countries there are some male compared more male compared to that of female so in the absence of selective abortion practices and birth in the given population are typically male based And next one is migration is also one important cause here. So now let us try to talk about next topic. It is regarding North Korea files ballistic missile. So here I want to give you one one homework. So you have to know differences between ballistic missile and as well as cruise missile. So this will be very important from your science and technology, which mainly comes under your GS paper three. And now let us try to see context. If you see context, it mainly says that. North Korea fired a ballistic missile on Wednesday. This is the thing which mainly said by South Korea. So now let us try to see some more important details. Here, North Korea conducted fourteen weapon tests since January. So it also including like firing of intercontinental ballistic missile. Okay, and if you see here, North Korea also oversaw a huge military parade, war to rapidly expand and to improve its nuclear arsenal. And also warn of possible preemptive strikes as well. So this uh, missile is mainly fired uh, at twelve p.m. And here, 
the range of this missile is 470 kilometers and it reached an altitude of 780 kilometers okay so now let us try to see some more important things in this uh, in this lecture that is our yesterday's questions so first question is about pelagic and benthic waters so pelagic waters are the surface water between the two shorelines which mainly extends up to the depth of 500 meters yes benthic water it is like deep water or deep oceanic water so benthic water extends from the depth of 500 meters to the base of ocean yes so here you need to identify two statements that is both one and two so that option is three and next one is a particular ocean which is like s s shape in the north south orientation that is atlantic ocean so that option is a and today's questions are the first one it is regarding reversal of oceanic currents and next question is regarding equatorial climatic conditions so these are two questions and try to read the statements to are given and try to give me the correct option in the comment box and now let us try to see the small announcement we in Rathod size we came up with this mains answer writing practice course and this course it is of one year validity and daily one question will be provided on Sunday we provide you case study or uh, essay practice so as you all know means it is important factors to make or break the deal so you should not take this means answer writing practice as a light so you have to you have to focus on this means answer writing practice whenever you begin your preparation so daily one question and writing answer for this one question is not a big deal and if you follow this timetable we are giving then you can complete entire gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 within one year for sure so the cost of this course it is just 7200 rupees for one year so you can join this course and if you have any query so please call us on this number 8074765513 okay and if you see we also ready to launch this pen drive course for this foundation entire foundation course of for 2023 so this will be very very useful you are dealing with each and every subject and each and every small topic as well so we are we are trying to provide the concept of clarity so after once you saw these lectures then no doubt will be there in your brain and actually we need to follow the trends of upsc upsc is not asking facts based questions it is asking analysis based questions so to answer those questions both in prelims and mains you need to have a concept of clarity that we are providing in these courses and you can also take single modules like only history or only geography economy and as well as science and technology environment and ecology international relations ethics so you can take this individual modules as well so if you have any queries so please call us on this number 8074765513 and you can visit our website rathor science academy and you can watch free demo videos there okay and now let us try to see today's hindu newspaper pdf so this is our hindu date is may 5th 2022 and this is delhi edition so the first topic it is regarding rbi increasing of interest rate okay so here what happened so since okay since uh pandemic which came into our lives so we are seeing there is no uh, increasing of interest rates but the first time this is a step which is mainly taken by rbi and next article it is regarding sealed cover jurisprudence already we know what is a sealed cover jurisprudence right so here the evidence which is mainly given in a sealed cover so that what happened only the people okay like judges they can have the access to that evidence and here if you see this uh, image it is uh, mainly showing about this uh, uh, fireflies fireflies or or uh, illuminating so it is mainly talking about bio illuminance so this is one of important concept under your environment and ecology so here you need to know about even anamalai tiger reserve as well and if you move forward you can leave this page and in this city page also i found nothing much important from upsc point of view in the states page i discussed about this shigella okay shigella infection or shigellosis and in the states page there is nothing much important and in this uh, editorial page i discussed about this rbi and there is one article regarding this nepal vulnerability which mainly linked to lack of pragma pragmatic policy interventions so this article is also important regarding this india nepal relations you can refer that article and next one is regarding this uh, in the time of war i discussed this topic and in this article uh, in this uh, page you can see there are two articles that are important that is inflation control needs another model 
So actually this article which is mainly talking about inflation already you know what is this inflation and what are the different types of inflation what are the causes and what are the impacts of the inflation so you have to know the way forward which is given in this last paragraph you can easily go through that and next one is the workers hit the hardest so because of this pandemic in india so the important sectors which mainly affected here they are given with the data so actually this data it is not at all important you have to know that how women and salaried workers they are impacting a lot because of this pandemic and this in data part which mainly talks about press freedom of uh, press freedom index and i discuss this topic in detail and if you see this text and context you can see article regarding this gst compensation dues so already we discussed number of times regarding this gst compensation now it is time to revise that topic once and next one is regarding this world press freedom i discussed this topic and if you move forward in this news page i discussed okay you have to see this topic that is identification delay stalled pension it is regarding ministry of defense so ministry of defense says that there is stalling of forgiving of pensions you can see that topic and next one is modi hold bilateral talks with nordic leaders okay that is about india nordic sum india nordic summit so already i discussed this topic so you can easily go through that and some important areas of cooperation includes economy clean energy space healthcare and even you are going to talk about trade investment technology etc okay and if you move forward in this news page you can see about the sex ratio article i discussed this topic and if you move forward this article is important that is a uh, north korea fires ballistic missile i discussed this topic and in this economy page there is one article regarding this inflation and it is regarding this monetary policy stance and there is a growth uh, to be the range of uh, 87 to 8.5 is according to the cea that is chief economic advisor okay so these are the some important articles that appeared in this today's newspaper i hope you enjoyed this lecture please subscribe to rathor's is academy and don't forget to like share and comment my videos thank you so much